All right, the weekend is here, and... Okay, well, I've got my fingers crossed. I don't know. Great I mean, weekend, because we've had a mix. Vanessa's uh, here. Rain, sun. Rick says we never know what's going to happen with the weather. We, so he doesn't uh, trust me, Dana. Oh, no, it's not you. Uh, it's not I do. You. I, I trust always you. trust Vanessa. So listen, as of right okay. now, Dick, the weather looks amazing okay. for the weekend. We know things can change, but we're going to hope this weekend it does not, so that Dick knows what's going to happen with the forecast. Let's go ahead and give you a look live outside right now. It is very pleasant in the city. Outside the city, portions of the region getting hit hard by storms, mostly clear and 82. We've got west winds around 15. Much of this rainfall rolled through in the wee hours of the morning, over a half an inch in Sussex. Central Park picked up 15 hundredths of an inch, quarter of an inch in Bridgeport. As we look at the tally for July, we are still running a surplus over four, uh, almost four and three quarter inches for the month. The surplus is approaching the two inch mark, but you know what? As we move forward in the forecast for the weekend, especially it's dry, we're not going to add to that surplus tonight. 10% chance of a shower or storm. We have that yellow alert in effect until sunset. And much of the region will stay dry, but north and east especially, best bet of seeing a little more activity. Monday into Tuesday, we're going to up the chances yet again, but these are for pop-ups mainly north and west of the city. Again, that 4.7 tally might hold all the way through early next week. As we look at your humidity trend, it's humid today, but we're gonna watch that humidity level drop. Your weekend feels comfortable. Monday and Tuesday, the numbers start creeping back up, but not oppressive levels of humidity until we get closer to midweek. Why is the humidity dropping? Well, you see this front right here, which is really sparking a lot of activity on the radar north and east of us. Well, behind it, the air is significantly drier. The dew points about 10 degrees below where they are ahead of the front, and that is going to to allow for a much more comfortable weekend. We are tracking right now this one storm cell in particular, sparking a flash flood warning for Fairfield County. This is northeastern Fairfield, but you can see the line extending back down. So as it treks to the east, we do anticipate places like Trumbull getting some heavy rainfall. Seymour 623, Bethany around 630, Brooksvale as well, 634. Looking toward the east end now, we watch as you're drying out after some strong storms rolled from places like east Riches up through the North Fork and things are settling down out there. Overnight, we're going to watch as temperatures fall as dew points do. We're going to be in the low 60s for many, mid to upper 60s closer to the city down shore. Your air quality tomorrow will be good. 46 is the index. Your high tomorrow, 85 with mostly sunny skies, less humidity. Northwest winds at 5 to 15 and then your beach and mountain forecast looking pristine. I will note though, there's a moderate risk of rip currents across those south facing beaches of the island. Otherwise, low to mid 80s for the most part. Those water temperatures, 72 to 82. Checking out the extended forecast Saturday and Sunday, beautiful. Best weekend we've had since May. Uh, Monday, 88, a pop up north and west. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're getting more sticky out there. We're going to increase the chances of showers and storms. Thursday, Friday, steamy sunshine with uh, temperatures right around 90, but it'll feel more like 95 with high humidity. <laughs> no problem. But listen, <laughs> the weekend, we are so excited. Okay, I. I want to hear good things. Good yes. things. Zero percent. <laughs> Zero. Yes. We love it. That's